year. At the height of its glory, ancient Egypt had a population of approximately 7 million, about that of present-day London. The vast majority lived on farms. The crops they planted and harvested not only fed their countrymen, they formed the basis of the nation's financial system. There was no currency. Debts, salaries, purchases in the marketplace were all paid with commodities, most often grain from fields. Herodotus was very impressed when he went to Egypt and said, oh, Egypt is the gift of the Nile. Egypt is the gift of the Egyptian farmers. Without those farmers, it would just be a big, annually inundated floodplain. Then, as now, there was only one river in all of Egypt, and it was the Nile on which every growing thing depended. All agricultural life functioned according to a well-defined cycle. The annual cycle began when summer rains in the highlands of what is today Ethiopia and Sudan swelled the river. As it entered Egypt, the Nile surged over its banks and deposited its load of fertile topsoil onto the farmland which kept Egypt alive. Generally, the river could be counted on to return the life-giving flood each year. But there were periods when the flood was too low or too high and crops suffered or failed. Every Egyptian understood this peril. Their myths and stories, the very essence of their religious practices, all had to do with the river and its critical importance in their lives. As soon as the inundation started to drop, uh, you might say that all hell broke loose because it became very crucial to start preparing the fields. 